Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and this video is how to install PyDev in Eclipse Kepler on Ubuntu desktop. PyDev is a IDE where you can write some Python projects. Makes it a little bit easier than uh, using simple text editor. The outcomes for this video include installing PyDev from inside Kepler, Eclipse Kepler, create a simple Python project, and then verify that the PyDev operation with Python code copied from uh, GitHub Baba Rainer Ranchar Gen. Requirements in Ubuntu Desktop. Video uses Ubuntu 13.04. Eclipse Kepler installed and updated. Now you have to make sure that it's updated before you install PyDev, otherwise you may have to reinstall PyDev after updating Kepler. And of course you need an internet connection. Additional info at pydev.org and eclipse.org. And a disclaimer, while I've researched this material, I can't fully verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out there. So I've been asked to include disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. Here I have a Ubuntu desktop, 13.04, 64-bit rearing ringtail. So let's start Eclipse. This workspace here is where you're going to be putting your uh, Python code in or Python project. So you can change this to whatever you want. I'm just going to accept the default here. Click OK. And here we are in 64-bit uh, Java EE Eclipse. So to install PyDef, we go to Help. And one thing you want to do here is check for updates. Because if you go and install PyDev first and then the update second you may have to reinstall PyDev again. So check for updates first. Now the other thing with the updates you may have to run them as administrator. In this case you would start Eclipse with sudo Eclipse. So we'll go to, to the marketplace and, and here we're going to just do a search for PyDev. Type in PyDev because PyDev is your uh, Python IDE for uh, Eclipse and right here it is for Eclipse 2.8.2 now this right here is Kepler so you know if you really want to make sure that this thing everything works correctly you should go to Eclipse 2.8.2 and Kepler is ab about uh, let's go see what it is see if there's an about here about Eclipse Kepler release 1 doesn't give the version number. Basically, I, I think it's about 3435. Click OK. And, but we're going to install this, and most of it should uh, work. And I'll, I'll point out one area where it's not working correctly uh, in, the, in the code. Click Go. I'm sorry, we've already got it here, so let's just click Install. Bring this back up. Well, bring this up so we can see it clearly. Click confirm. Accept the terms of the license. Finish. And it will install. Once it's installed I'll come back. And you get a security warning and we'll just basically says you're installing software and contains unsigned content. I simply click OK. And in this case, I'm going to select all and click OK. So now it says you need to restart Eclipse. We'll click yes here. Again, here's your workspace that you can configure. Click OK. So now let's check this out. Make sure file, new, and we go to project. And here we've got at PyDev we can choose three projects Django, Google App Engine, or PyDev project. You'll still need some additional for Google App Engine and maybe something additional for Django depending on how your computer is set up. And this is the kind of project I'll be creating in the next section of this video. Here PyDev is installed. I'm going to create a project and then download some code from a GitHub location to uh, fill out the project. So I'll go to File, New, project 
in this case it's going to be a pi def project and simply click next and we're going to give it a name we'll call it random and this is a uh, random char generator basically it, it's two functions that generate random characters and we're going to use default workspace and here you've got the project type Python depending on which interpreter iron Python Jython and I'm going to configure interpreter in related preferences before proceeding the best way to do that basically the best way to do this is just do auto config and I like to select all not in workspace and click OK We'll trundle for a bit. So I like to create a source folder for all my Python modules. And let's click next here. Select reference off. And we're just going to mode system temp files. We're just going to click finish here. And remember my decision. Now what however you check that, they still they're still down here and they should be there for all all your uh, Python projects that are that you create in this directory so let's go to here and we see this source and we see the Python 2.7 because that's what's installed on this machine I don't think I've got Python 3.3 you may have it on your machine but if this is uh, this project right here is basically uses Python 2.7 if you've got to reconfigure your machine or something like that or your com computer open up and here in source I'm going to go to file new and pydev module and we'll leave the package empty and I'm going to call it ranchar gen and this is going to be the name of the PyDev module. We'll click finish here. It's going to come up and ask for a template if you want. I'm just going to put the, I, I could use an empty template but I'm just going to put the main module template right here just to show you kind of basically feels created on and your author. So rather than have you watch me code I'm going to download a piece of code from uh, github in this case I've got some code right here ran charge in pi which I've already written and simply right click copy and we'll just paste it in delete everything now you'll notice one thing here it says unused variable i this is a uh, pydev I don't know uh, feature I guess is what you would call it and pydev gives you a warning here unless you un add an underscore to i as in a function below basically so I add an underscore in front of the I here and so you don't get the warning here you don't get the warning because it's used it with the print so that's just a feature just want to point that out to you so let's go run this and we can say run as and we've already got Python run so let's run this Python and we want to make sure that we save always save so I always save sources click OK and here we go I've got this generating a number of different uh, lowercase letters the reason everything's in lowercase letters I'm going to do a link in between Eclipse and Google App Engine and Google App Engine kind of frowns on you if you have an uppercase letter there in, in their uh, application name so that's pretty much it for uh, installing PyDev into Kepler Thank you.